bit of today about the four ingredients we want to look for when we're consuming products, if we're buying vitamins, if we're, you know, even buying stuff with shampoo or soaps, you know, to make sure that these ingredients are not in there because these ingredients can actually wreak havoc on our body. So the first one we're going to talk about is maltodextrin. Maltodextrin was derived from GMO corn. It's heavily sprayed with about 4 billion pounds of pesticides, such as glyphosate, which leads the body to having digestion issues when it's consumed. Now, where do we usually see maltodextrin? Maltodextrin is usually in vitamins, it's in supplements, it's in protein powders, sometimes it's in cereal, sometimes it's in oatmeal. You know, they put it basically as a cheap filler so that they can increase their profit margins, but it, it leads to people having a lot of digestion issues and bloating because it's very hard for the body to break down all these pesticides and all these chemicals being put into the, into the system. So that's one we want to look for. Number two, we want to look for sucralose or aspartame. Sucralose or aspartame are basically a synthetic lab ingredient that was deemed as safe because these studies were paid for to say it was safe. But they used this in the 1990s with Diet Coke and Diet Sodas, um, you know, Diet Pepsi, that was real big. But what happens is when the body consumes aspartame or sucralose, it actually tricks the body into thinking it hasn't ate and it needs to eat again. So most people who consume diet products actually end up eating more because the brain is being tricked by this synthetic chemical. Also, it leads to a lot of neurological issues such as Alzheimer's and dementia and, and starts to actually burn holes in the brain. Now, of course, they're going to say none of this is true, blah, 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 because they've bought and paid for the studies to say that it's safe of it so they can sell it into the consumer market so we can start consuming those things. So it's very important to avoid anything that says aspartame or sucralose. The next one we want to talk about is natural or artificial flavors. Natural or artificial flavors were basically put into things to get people hooked. That's how people are addicted to things. So for example, if you ever pick up like a Zevia and you turn it over and you, you look at the bottle, it says the ingredients natural flavors or artificial flavors. Those things are synthetically made in the lab. They do not need to disclose what's in it. And they're usually derived from anything from blood to organs um, to synthetic chemicals to get you hooked. It's almost kind of like how people get hooked on cigarettes because there's chemicals in those to get you hooked on them once you start using them. So it's the same thing they're using it as a food additive. That's why people get addicted to a flavor. You know, the flavoring agents that they're using are, are put in there to get you addicted. Now, Pepsi used to do some really sinister things with that, and you can look into that. But basically, any time it says artificial or, or natural flavors, avoid it. You know, if you want to add some flavor into something, just put a lemon or a lime into your water, and nice and simple, you know, and you can make your own flavoring with fruit, uh, berries, strawberries, uh, blueberries, something like that. That's how you can add some flavor to something. Um, last but not least is soy lecithin. Now, soy lecithin is one of the worst. Now, they put this in chocolate. They put it in, um, you know, they put it in vitamins. They put it in shampoos. They put it in just about everything nowadays because they grow so much genetically modified soy and they spray it with so many pesticides. And this is a really big reason why a lot of people are suffering from thyroid issues. Thyroid issues are basically when you're consuming a lot of soy that's genetically modified with pesticides, the first thing it starts to attack is the thyroid. So this is why it's crucial to bring iodine into your diet so that you can help heal that thyroid because it's constantly being attacked. That's why people are suffering from autoimmune, Hashimoto's, you know, and thyroid issues is because the soy lecithin and soy, genetically modified soy, isolate, uh, the, the list goes on and on. It's all different types of names. But the soy is going to, to the body and then attacking that area and causing a lot of harm. Not only that, but soy lecithin also blocks the ability for our body to absorb nutrients. So this is a real big one. If you go to Walmart and you buy a vitamin D product and it has soy lecithin in it, soy lecithin actually blocks vitamin D. So you're not con you're not absorbing any vitamin D whatsoever. You're actually pretty much just kind of spending $9.99 to not absorb anything. Now they put this in a whole bunch of different uh, vitamins and minerals and it blocks all of those vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin D, uh, B vitamins, iron. This is why people develop deficiencies and start getting sick even though they're taking vitamins because the synthetic inactive ingredients on the back are actually blocking that. So this is part of why we created our company and did not put any of this stuff in there. And people need to know because this stuff is used as a weapon. You know, if you really think about it, this is why people are addicted to a lot of this stuff because it's being created in a lab and it's sprayed heavily with pesticides. So it's going to get you sick over time and it's going to block the ability for your body to function. You know, if you can't absorb nutrients, you're going to get sick because 
that's what starts to happen. So I hope that this teaches you something. And if you have any questions, send me a message. I'm sorry that Instagram will not let us share any of this on the stories. But if you need anything, just send me a message. You guys have a great day.